I think we expect to spend a lot of time on the ground in the near term in Iowa. And then I think we will go also, I mean, we're also spending time, more time here than other candidates. But the caucus system is, I think, one that is particularly attuned to the expectation of people coming in person. And I think that the entire process, the democratic process of the caucus is grounded on in-person interaction. That being said, it depends on those people then spreading that message in their community. So that's what we're betting on, is a grassroots-driven approach. Unlike some of the other candidates, I've never run for office before or run for president before. So we started from baseline, literally at the ground floor. I do think we're going to be successful. We're one of the people who's running the lead guy, the state chair in Iowa for us, Matt Schultz. He led Santorum's campaign. He led Cruz's campaign. And you know, Santorum's about where I was at this time, around the same time. And he ended up winning the Iowa caucus. So Iowa breaks late. I think they reward the people who have played for the long sales cycle rather than just the short-run advertising game. So my bet is that's going to be true here, too. And so we're going to use an all-of-the-above approach between now and the finish line. That's right. I think for me... Yeah, I think for me as an outsider, it ends up being, and, and neither of them performed nearly as well in New Hampshire. So I think that the early performance in both Iowa and New Hampshire, I'm confident that we have a clear path to the top three in both. I think we will exceed that expectation in both. But with those being in the top three in both Iowa and New Hampshire, having competed without the mega establishment backing of the other candidates, I think that will put me on a path to win. I think we are also in a position to deliver a surprise victory in Iowa and New Hampshire. And if I win either or both of those states, I have full confidence that I will definitely be the next president. So we focused on Iowa and New Hampshire, then you're moving on to South Carolina. What does that look like to you? Do you plan to be there uh, more, or are you going to go all in in these first two, like you just said you need that? Well, Nevada comes in between. So, so we have had some presence in Nevada. We're not competing in the same way in South Carolina, and we're not attempting to in the near term either. The best way I will compete in South Carolina is by being successful in the states that come before it because it's a state with you know, multiple candidates who are running who have been private, previous statewide elected officials in that state, solid base of Trump support. So, you know, we have to put our priorities where we believe we're going to be successful. And I think that's what we're doing. I think we will be successful in those places. And I think that we could have a surprise result in South Carolina, but that's not a state that we're prioritizing in our path to national success. We view it as a path where we're going to organically get support without necessarily my being on the ground or spending the kind of money and resources there that other candidates might.